Uh, my name is Marcus Bullock. Uh, I grew up in uh, a, a mix up between DC and Northeast DC and uh, PG County in Maryland. So my story, you know, it, it's a really, it's a really odd one. Um, as a 15 year old uh, that got caught inside of the justice system um, through a, you know, via a carjacking, uh, my story is pretty unique. Uh, my, myself and a friend of mine, uh, we were the participants in a carjacking in Northern Virginia. Uh, after the carjacking, uh, we didn't really understand the gist of what the possible punishment was, the legal ramifications about how we were doing. So as crazy as it sounds, uh, we got away with the carjacking and then came back the next day back into Virginia uh, and then uh, we were arrested committing another crime. Uh, we got arrested, we were sentenced to, we were both sentenced to 23 years to life um, and I ended up serving eight years in prison and my co-defendant ended up serving nine years in prison. Looking back in hindsight, it's easy for me to pinpoint why uh, a young person at 15 year old definitely should not be incarcerated with adults. And it's simply because the brain hasn't completely developed for us crazy teenagers. Um, as a teenager, you know, you, you make crazy decisions that put you in, in horrible, you know, horrible situations, but outside of the situations, um, what happens when you go inside of prison, you know, the, the, the situation that got you there, what happens when you go inside of prison, that same 15 year old mentality that got you there continues to, 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 to thrive even in, in that space. Um, so as a 15 year old and 16 year old, 17 year old kid inside of a space where a ton of other adults who are thinking like adults and acting like adults, responding to problems like adults, it's, 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 it's a whirlwind of differences between there. And that, I mean, I think that, you know, obviously lends to how imperative it is to be able to keep those guys um, separate from one another. Um, there's no way to be able to grow together. There's no way to be able to, you know, even self-educate. You know, the prisons don't have many programs that you can take advantage of. So the ability to be able to self-educate, um, the ability to be able to, to try to, to determine and decipher your own emotions even, um, it, it's, it's, it's a challenge. And when you're up against that around 30 and 40 and 50 year old guys, um, you know, it, it makes the challenge a lot, a lot deeper. The one of the things that let me, I want to talk about one of the challenges of um, of coming back home and re-entering the community. Uh, really, really funny story. So, when you're walking down the street as a 23 year old man who grew up inside of prison, and cars are zooming by you faster than you can ever imagine, only because you can't imagine cars. You're 15 years old, you're 16 years old, you're 17 years old, all the way to 23 years old, and there's no movement. Walking down the street in cars is just zipping by your head. It creates a sense of anxiety there that I was like, I can't believe that cars are moving this fast. I wasn't even ready for it. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for, you know, applying for jobs as an adult. Never have been, you know, gone through anything, anything like that as a child. I wasn't ready for having real relationships with women um, because I didn't have the opportunity to be able to date as a, as a teenager. I wasn't ready for the responsibility of, you know, bills and utilities and trying to search and navigate through having your own place to live wasn't quite ready for that. And I didn't realize that until failure after failure after failure continued to happen inside of my own adult life. Um, and I can obviously definitely attribute that to uh, me not having that learning experience about life uh, because I experienced growing up inside of a prison cell. Um, I would definitely encourage uh, the guys who come behind me, and I do that often, believe in yourself. Have faith in you, what you're capable of bringing to this world. And, and I believe it all worked together. It all comes out.